This machine replaces your heart and your lungs, but no, you're not gonna be RoboCup. Let's talk about ECMO, or Extra Corporeal Membrane oxygenization. Uh, oxygenization. That may be a mouthful to say, but it's not as hard to understand. So, what is ECMO? Well, basically what we're doing is we're taking the blood out of the body, we're taking the CO2 out of the blood, and then we're putting oxygen back into the blood. That's it. Now, there's two different types of ECMO. There's either VV or VA ECMO. VV being vein to vein, uh, VA being vein to artery, okay? Now, what's the difference between the two? So, vein to vein or veno venous is going to be when you pull, pull the blood out of the veins and give it back to the veins, and you skip only the lungs, right? So, the veno venous is just to skip the lungs. Veno arterial is going to be skipping the heart and the lungs. So, you're pulling out of a vein, giving back to the artery. Thus, you don't need the heart either at this point. When do we use each? So, we're going to use veno venous whenever you have a severely sick lung patient. So, think of ARDS or ARDS, right? Their lungs aren't working anymore, so we're going to go ahead and take over for them right there. Now, veno arterial, where are we going to use that? Well, that's going to be a lot of your like eCPR, like your cardiac arrest patients that come in with their brain completely intact, but their heart's not working. So we're going to skip the heart entirely and be like, let's just skip that part. What do we do? Why are we doing ECMO? What's the whole purpose of it? Well, there's two kind of end goals for ECMO. You're either going to be uh, ECMO to transplant or ECMO to recovery, right? So what's ECMO to transplant? Well, that just means we're going to wait and do ECMO and hope that you get a transplant of either your heart or your lungs and thus fixing the reason for you to even be on ECMO. And ECMO to recovery is a little bit longer, right? Like that's going to be, we're hoping that your lungs or your heart gets better and then we can take you off of it. Uh, a lot of those patients that uh, are to recovery are your eCPR patients who came in coding uh, and we fixed whatever problem was wrong with their heart and now good to go home. ECPR is one of the coolest things I've seen in the hospital. It's really nice to see your patients who come in in cardiac arrest, either walk out or wheel out on a wheelchair completely mentally intact because of ECMO. It's insane. Remember, ECMO is not the end. It's a beginning or a second chance for that patient that's lying in that bed. It's kind of a Hail Mary in a sense, but sometimes it really works.